silver, and gold. What I'm buying right now. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I'm going to go through what I purchased since COVID, uh, both in silver and gold. Talk about my ratio, how it's changed, and what my stacking focus is going to be for the latter part of this year. So what I have focused a lot on is Canadian Maple Leafs. Now this has been the stacking focus because of the lower premiums that silver maples provide. They are an iconic design, especially the reverse, and they are easily recognizable. It's one of my favorite government minted silver bullion to stack. If you don't want your maples to look like you spilled some leche on it, you definitely want to get 2018 and later. They instituted this uh, mint shield technology. Basically, they got better at cleaning the planchettes before they stamped them out. And I've noticed that the milk spot issue has all but vanished for me. Now, this one right here, I have a... A twisted cap sort of off-centered and that's an indication that I haven't filled it all I am NOT done with this I think there's like four left I had 21 in here so I will top that off from Tim very shortly I'm probably gonna build a monster box like I did with the American Silver Eagles now I didn't buy many Eagles this year so far uh, 1921 type 1 tube um, backdate tube, a little few extras. These are all the, the type ones. Something big was lost when they changed the reverse. I'm sorry. Those 13 stars, that shield, those, those, those arrows, the olive branch, they all represent something very special. The gold eagle, you know, design didn't really have that, um, you know, symbolism as much. So I'm less concerned or less impacted or triggered, if you will, with the change in design on the gold eagle as I am with the silver eagle. But hey, whatever, it happens. So I did get four of those. And speaking of type twos, I did get uh, four of these. Actually, a fifth one is going to be given away during my upcoming live stream. But so I got four of these. I'll probably get one complete tube of the 2021 type twos just because right whatever some basic rounds i picked up a few of these buffalo five ounce rounds four of them nothing overly special with these these are just big good way to stack some weight all right um ooh, silver ice cream cones <laughs> yeah these are um, special items, items that cost a little bit more than silver bullion, like rounds and bars, and, and even more than government-minted silver bullion. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. I mean, I, I have to admit, I think I might have gone a little bit overboard this year. Maybe not. I don't know. I think these are just this incredibly beautiful. The dragon style. Isn't that awesome? Oh man, and this one, this one had a really regal looking eagle in the back. Love that. So three of those. Yeah, this one, this was the Germania Mint. Got one ounce coin. That was just a, a pretty coin I had to get. Silver gold bull. Yeah, Wall Street silver. Hashtag silver squeeze. 10 ounce bar. There's a lot of controversy over that bar, but it's been tested. It's legit. It's all good. I got an America the Beautiful coin. Yeah, this, this was just a cool looking coin. This is the only one I have. So yeah, it's just another five ounces of silver. A little extra, not too much. Not That wasn't that bad. But this was bad. <laughs> this, this was craziness, all right? I got a, a nice five ounce Libertad 2021. Oh, 
A two ounce Libertad. I still got to get a two ounce capsule. I've been looking for one. I'm just going to grab one. And then a one ounce Libertad. So five, two, one. And then the first of the Infinity series around here. The Awakening. Isn't that cool? So again, another five ounce there. So those are all, I admit, silver ice cream cones. This gorgeous two ounce piece. Wow. Unbelievable. Thank you so much for this. Yikes. Very nice silver ice cream cone. I'm going to be featuring that uh, a lot on my channel. Love it. So about 300 ounces of silver. My ratio was 400 to 1 prior to COVID. What is it now? Well, let's clear this silver out and show you what I got for gold. As you know, I went on my gold world tour of mints and I started with a 2021 gold American Eagle. Got a one ounce maple leaf. Also had to pick up a buffalo. Oh yeah, love the buffalo. Crossed over the pond and got a Britannia. Went down to South Africa, got a Cougarand. Austria was on the list. As was China. Then an incredible gift of an Australian Perth Mint Gold coin. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable gift. And then I came back through Mexico and got the one ounce Libertad. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, ten. I had to get the 2021 gold American Eagle. Now, this is an absolutely beautiful coin, in my opinion. The detail is pretty spectacular. I mean, really, this, this is a gorgeous design. I love it because it looks regal, powerful. I love the eye, how it's looking at you. And, you know, comparing it to the earlier style, I mean, I don't think you're missing much. I, I, I was never a huge fan of that design, okay? I just, you know, it, it's nice, but it, this to me is a better reverse. So I love it. And I also tested all my silver and gold with the ping tester or pocket pinger. It's a great tool, folks. This is so cool. You put your coin in there like that. You take your stack stick and listen to that. Isn't that amazing? It just goes on and on and on. It's still going. Just the sound of that. Oh. And what's so cool with this pocket pinger is that you can use a free app on your iPhone or, or Android device. And the moment you ping it, it will tell you exactly what it is. Just verifying your gold and silver in a very inexpensive way. Yeah, do I want a Sigma Metalytics? Sure, but this is cheap. And it's right there in your pocket when you go to you know buy your silver and gold. Definitely check out the pocket pinger in the description of my video, all right, right right down there. So yeah, I had to get the American Gold Eagle Type 2 design. What do you think of that design? Put it in the comments below. But okay, back to what I've bought and what's coming up in the future. 300, give or take, actually it's a little over 300 ounces of silver to 10 ounces of gold. That's a 30 to one ratio, a lot smaller than the 400 to one ratio that I had going into the pandemic and before the crazy premiums, especially with silver. That's why I shifted my focus and my strategy more towards gold. I actually didn't expect it to be 30 to one. It just turned out to be that. Now I'm, I'm gonna stop buying gold as heavily as I, I have up to this point and get back to the silver more so especially these maple leaves I, I am shooting for that monster box I have a ways to go and my ratio 
going forward, at least probably until the end of the year, will be 200 to 1. I think the, the premiums still kind of make it difficult to stack silver hard, but I believe it is so important that we still do. Uh, if you can get some gold, I think that's also a great idea as well. What do you think of my new ratio? 200 to 1. And what do you think of my purchases that I've made in 2021? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, I hope your day is a-okay.